Hey everybody, so Jack Stringer recently asked me if I could demonstrate how to uh, glitch progressively and pitch shift gradually, which are two techniques that I have utilized in quite a few of my videos. And since I have already answered those respective questions a few times, I figured I would make a little video tutorial so that I can easily redirect anyone who asks those questions in the future. So the first method we're going to learn how to do is called data moshing, and you will need a program called AVI DMUX 2.5. First you load up Vegas and you get your little clip that you want to data mosh. I have an example clip of the rap critic that I'm going to use here. And make no mistake, this is Kanye. He's going to do that. You select the clip and you're going to render it as an AVI. You can use whatever settings you want. I like to use NSTC DV widescreen and stretch video to fill output frame size. It won't actually be the same frame size as the source material, but you can fix that in Vegas after you've actually done all the work. So, anyway, you render your file and you name it something that you can easily remember. Then you open up AVID Mux and load up the file. Now we're not actually going to do any data moshing yet, but what we are going to do is convert the video file to make it more suitable for data moshing. So what you do is you go to the video menu here and you select MPEG for ASP parentheses XVID. Then you go to configure frame, you set the maximum consecutive B frames to zero, and then you set the maximum I frame interval to basically any ridiculously high number that fits the amount of digits. Cool. File dot avi. This is important when rendering your videos in avi dmux, and this is the file that you're actually going to data mosh. So now you open the file that you just rendered, and then you set the video to copy, and then you go to a point in the video where you want to data mosh. Okay, I'm going to data mosh right here where he puts his head down. The bigger the movement, the better. So you click A, which is the beginning of the selection, and you go one frame forward, and then you click B, which marks the end of the selection. And you're going to select this one frame, and then copy and paste it as many times as you want. So now you save a video, and this is going to be the final product of your data mosh. It's going to ask you if you want a smart copy, click no. And now your final product should look something like this. And make no mistake, this is Kanye. He's going to do that. Another cool trick you can do with data moshing is you can select two or three frames, copy and paste those, and it creates a stutter, which creates a different kind of data moshing effect. This is Kanye. He's go going to do that. He's go going to do that. Now we are going to learn how to do the gradual slowdown, or speed up with the vibrato effect. So, you select the part of your video that you want to apply the vibrato effect to, Going. and then you right click on the audio track, and this pop-up menu should appear. You click Apply Non-Real-Time Event Effects, and vibrato is right here. Now depending on which version of Sony Vegas you have, it may or may not have vibrato. I'm using Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 11.0. Click OK. Now this graph right here, you put points on it to put when you want the audio to slow down or speed up. And the modulation frequency is how fast or slow it speeds up, and the amount of semitones here is how high or low you want the pitch to bend. And depending on the length of your audio, you can either put a really quick slow down or speed up, or a slower one. I'm going to go with the quicker one, so I'm going to put these right here. Click OK, and then render the audio clip in a place where you can easily locate it, if need be. Now it should sound something like this. And make no mistake, this is Kanye. He's going to do that. And that pretty much covers it. If there's anything else you guys want me to explain, I can either reply to you in a comment or make another video tutorial if you want. So, see you later.